welcome back to Jenny's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you my famous habanero guacamole. This video almost hit 8 million views on TikTok. So I'm gonna recreate it for you guys right here on YouTube, step by step. All right guys, let's go over our basic ingredients. And you're gonna need three large avocados. You're gonna need cilantro, of course. A large tomato. Half a white onion and our famous star, the habanero, and you only need one. Three of the garlic cloves, half of a lime, some black pepper, and the chicken bouillon. All right, so let's get started. First, we're gonna start by roasting our habanero and our garlic, follow me. All right guys, make sure that you get a nice hot skillet going on. I'm gonna be using my cast iron skillet, and as you can see, I added just a little bit of oil, and it's already hot. So I'm gonna take the stem off and I'm just gonna throw it all in here. Now I'm just gonna wait so they can get a really nice char so I can transfer it to my molcajete. Another of my secrets, guys, just to help the process, I press with the, with the piedra, I press my chile so it can like hurry up and get that little char that you need. So just keep on pressing it and then also do it with your garlic, just like that. Okay, so now look at these, these are ready. You wanna start remove them, removing them because you don't want them burnt either. You just want that nice, beautiful char. And by adding the little touch of oil, I don't know, it makes a big difference in my opinion. There we go, throw it in there. Again, so for three large avocados, I'm gonna be using a whole tablespoon of chicken bouillon, the consomme de pollo. And now this is when you want to make you sure make sure that you use all your muscle and you got to press all the way down and get really deep in there to mash your garlic and the habanero. You got to be careful. Maybe you could hold I mean, if you have to hold your breath, because um, <clears throat> like right now, the habanero is getting to me. So what you just do, make sure that you mash it really well. <clears throat> I told you this habanero is freaking spicy. All right, let's continue to mash. And I just like to go in circles. You see how it helps me? Just kind of bringing it around on the side so you can get everything really nice and blended. Just like that, beautiful. Okay, so now let's put in our avocados. All right, now let's cut up our avocados. Let's see. Look at this, beautiful avocados. Now let's open all of them before we spoon them out. And I like to spoon them out with a, uh, with a spoon. Look at this, beautiful, like my apron. <laughs> all right, guys, an easy way that I like to remove my pit is by doing this. But of course, of course, you have to be very careful. I hear that many people have so many accidents by doing that little simple step. All right, so now you spoon your avocado out. And again, you don't have to worry about uh, cutting this one in squares. I try to save my some some steps sometimes, just because. I mean, I am gonna uh, mash it with the, my rock in a bit, so I'm just gonna do it this way. All right, so it's now time to cut the lemon or the lime. And I'm gonna start adding it because remember, the uh, avocado starts turning dark. So I'm just gonna put half of the lime and I'm just gonna blend it, it, blend it in with the um, habanero. I'm gonna blend it in with the habanero so it can start, all those flavors start uh, combining just like that. And now, let's go cut the veggies. All right, before I start adding all of my fresh vegetables, I am going to add a little bit of uh, black pepper and then mix it really well. And you can leave chunks if you like, or you could mash it really well with your piedrita. With this, you could just go in and mash it. I'm gonna leave a little pieces of chunks. So I'm gonna use it for my burrito, for my 
birria burrito. I'm gonna drench it with the consomme de birria. If you guys wanna watch that video, go to my TikTok. I'm gonna be uploading it later on. Okay. And now, of course, you wanna add the little pit of the avocado because again, ooh, look at this one. I wanted to come inside. Again, this, the, the fresh lime and the pit of the avocado is gonna help it stay fresh. All right, now let's cut the veggies. Now I'm gonna start dicing my white onion and I'm only gonna be using half. Cut this part, let's get this out. And once you cut it, you wanna remove the very first layer, just like that. But from what I learned, that if you do not wanna cry, do not cut this part off. Leave it on and then start dicing your onion. That way, whatever the onion releases doesn't make you cry as long as you leave that little part on. I'm telling you, I learned myself too. Okay, so now we're gonna just dice this really fine, just like this. Okay. And I'm not crying. So whoever gave us that tip, thank you. Thank you so much. I keep on seeing it on TikTok. So again, you learn a lot from TikTok. There you go. Just like that. Let's throw this away. Now we dice our red tomato. And again, we're making the bandera de Mexico. That's uh, what you add to your your guacamole, the beautiful bandera de Mexico. And so, let me just dice it. Okay, I'm gonna go through your TikTok comments and just ask you. All right, so we're gonna be answering questions from TikTok, guys, and these are just random questions that my daughter's gonna read to me. I see you shop at Costco. So the very first comment says, I see you shop at Costco. Yeah, I do. And I keep on saying it all the time and I'm proud to shop at Costco. They have quality, you can buy in abundance, and sometimes you just get the best prices. All right, so now let's go with the cilantro. And again, I am not a professional at cutting. I never said I was an expert. I never went to culinary school. This is just how I, what I learned growing up. And as long as it's fresh, good, and uh, it's edible, that's what my family wants. As long as it's delicious, that's what we want. Good tasting food. Do you really care to have a really perfectly cut tomato when it's gonna cook anyway and it's gonna dissolve? <laughs> okay, so now this is going to, let me put it in the right order now. Okay, mom, the next comment says, maybe you should talk normal. Your videos are good, but you're a bit too loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to the Latino world. And if you don't like it, uh, there's nothing that I could do. Why are you always throwing food? Why am I always throwing food? Because who came up with it? No one yet, right? And I got your attention. All right, we are done with our bandera de Mexico. And again, it's the cilantro, the cebolla, and the tomato. And you just throw it all in here. Look at this. Everything is so fresh, all the smells. Oh my gosh, who doesn't want to eat guacamole every day? At least we, tr we do, we love it on everything. I'm gonna be using the rest of the lime just because um, I wanted to use just a little bit more on top of the, of the vegetables. And now we just carefully mix it in. We just start folding it in until you get everything well mixed. And this is it, guys. This guacamole took me 15 minutes tops. So fast, so easy, and yet you get to eat so fresh. Now you get your chips and you enjoy. So don't forget to give me that subscribe and that like. Bye. Now I'm going to enjoy my guacamole. Mmm.